So if you've ever owned an inkjet printer, you might understand the plight of the plaintiffs in this next lawsuit. This is David Lee Craft versus Canon, and he's filing it as a class action lawsuit because his Canon all-in-one printer has stopped scanning when it ran out of ink, which that's ridiculous. That's like if your car stops driving because a knob broke off of the radio or something like that. I mean, absolutely ridiculous. It'd be one thing if like the car had a flat tire or if the scanner had a broken component, but there's no need for ink to be in the printer for the scanner to work. It sounds like maybe unlawful tying together in antitrust law where you make it so that the whole device is disabled if you don't pay to maintain one part of the device. Don't put windshield washer fluid in the car so the car won't start or something like that. So let's see what he has to say here. Throughout its marketing and advertising, including on the product packaging, Canon claims its all-in-one printers are multifunction devices that can print, copy, scan, and in some cases fax. As opposed to a single function printer, these multifunction devices purportedly provide three or four functions. In truth, those printers do not scan or fax when the devices have low or empty ink cartridges. They're calling this the design issue, so that's how they're going to refer to that. And Canon's advertising claims are then false, misleading, or reasonably likely to deceive the public. Canon does not represent or warn customers that ink is a necessary component in order to scan or fax documents. So yeah, I guess that's a defense. If they had told customers on the box, by the way, only buy this printer if you're okay with this design issue where you can't scan without full ink cartridges or without working ink cartridges. Uh, they didn't do that, apparently. As a result, consumers are forced to incur unexpected and unnecessary burden and expense in the form of ink purchases or, in the alternative, be unable to scan or fax documents using a so-called all-in-one device. Canon knew or should have known that its representations and advertisements regarding the all-in-one printers were false and misleading, and they failed to disclose material information. So this seems like a false advertising lawsuit. If plaintiff knew the printers suffered from the design issue, he would not have purchased the printer on the same terms, if at all. Purchasers have been harmed as a result of Canon's false representations and omissions. In addition to monetary damages, plaintiff seeks injunctive relief, requiring Canon to immediately cease the misleading advertising and marketing campaign and engage in a corrective campaign to inform customers of the use of misleading advertising. Plaintiff's claims are brought as a class action. Plaintiff seeks relief individually and on behalf of purchasers of all-in-one printers for violations of New York General Business Law, sections 349 and 350, the GBL, General Business Law, breach of express warranties, and for unjust enrichment. Unjust enrichment would be when someone benefits unlawfully from something at your expense. So here's the details. Plaintiff is a resident of Queens. He purchased a Canon PIXMA MG2522 printer. I love these printer model numbers. Like if the only thing less consistent in the world is uh, monitor or TV model numbers, like this huge long, like 32 character model number on these TVs. And I think it's just to like sell the same TV in different regions and call it a different product. I don't know. Plaintiff purchased the printer for its advertised scanning purposes. After purchasing the device, he learned the device does not function as a scanner if the ink cartridges are low or empty. He therefore suffered an injury and was damaged as a result of Canon's conduct. He would not have purchased the device, would not have paid as much, if he knew that he would have to maintain ink in the device in order to scan documents. Uh, Kaylee and I recently went through this with our printer. We have a, I think it's an Epson printer, and you have to purchase color ink to print in black and white. There's something about it where it won't print, it, it'll print a couple pages, but it won't print very long in black and white unless you have color ink in the thing. Eventually I found generic cartridges for like 18 euros for a two pack versus 40 euros for the uh, one pack of the regular cartridges but branded by Epson. It's absolutely ridiculous. This, uh, I would call it a racket, but I have to be careful there because it's probably not illegal at some level and a racket of course would be illegal. So I'm not accusing Epson of illegal behavior, but it's certainly uh, anti-consumer behavior. Let's put it that way. 
plaintiff may purchase a Canon all-in-one printer again should Canon continue to advertise a product as all-in-one if he thinks Canon fixed the issue. And they're claiming the aggregate amount in controversy exceeds $5 million. I'm assuming that that's for the entire class. For decades, Canon has imported, marketed, distributed, and sold a wide range of printing, photographic, and imaging equipment bearing the Canon trademark. The all-in-one printers are sold as having printing, copying, and scanning functions. Some of them have fax functions as well. Throughout its marketing and advertising, they promise that the printers provide scanning and faxing as main features and functions. They say, do you need your printer for just printing purposes or will you need it for scanning and copying, maybe faxing as well? Single function printers are exactly what the name suggests. Their sole job is to print. Multi-function printers, MFPs or all-in-ones, AIOs, come with scanning and copying capabilities. If you anticipate needing these capabilities down the road, it may be worth paying a little more upfront for the increased functionality. Canon provides a filter on their website to find these devices, calling these features core features. Canon states the same functionality on its packaging. For example, here, doesn't say anything on here about needing ink in the cartridges to scan, nothing on this side, nothing on the top, and maybe there's something in the fine print here, but we can't really read that. It's all pixelated. It's, it, I can already see on my end it's pixelated, so I, don't, I know we're not gonna be able to zoom in on that and they continue to reinforce how the printer is supposed to be able to scan as well as print or copy and such. And it doesn't say anything in here about needing ink in the cartridges to scan. So the plaintiff then concludes that the all-in-one printers are meant to print, scan, and fax, but they do not work as warranted, labeled, and advertised. A document scanner copies content from printed pages and turns it into a computer file. Scanners operate by projecting light at a document and directing the reflected light through a series of mirrors and then reading that with a digitizer of some kind. And they go into how that works. You can look it up, it's pretty amazing how it works. Ink is not a necessary component to scan a document. <laughs> I mean, I think that's pretty obvious for anyone who knows how these things work. However, the printers are packaged and sold to purchasers in a manner which requires the devices to contain ink in order to scan documents. The all-in-one printers do not function as scanners if the devices have low or empty ink cartridges. Ink is not a necessary component to fax a document. However, same thing with faxing. In other words, if consumers wish to use either of the two main functions, Canon forces consumers to purchase ink cartridges whether or not they intend to use ink or want to print. As a result, consumers must incur unexpected and unnecessary burdens and expenses by purchasing ink cartridges or, in the alternative, be unable to scan or fax documents using the so-called multifunction all-in-one device. Canon fails to disclose to purchasing customers that the all-in-one printers suffer from this issue. They've known for years that its representations and advertisements regarding the printers were false and misleading and that it fails to disclose material information to consumers. For example, in 2015, consumers have been posting on Canon's community webpage about their scanners not functioning when their ink cartridges are low or empty, and they provide some links here. Let's follow one of these links. And so here you have scan without ink. Canon PIXMA MX926 won't scan with empty ink. Won't print after changing ink. Issue scanning. Can I turn off ink sensors so I can scan? I have an MX330, works great otherwise, but if I run out of color ink or remove an ink cartridge, it won't scan. I'm scanning, why does this affect scanning? It shouldn't. In response to the consumer's complaint, a Canon representative replied, the printer requires both ink cartridges be installed in the printer in order to scan even if they are low or out of ink. In addition, when an error condition is present on the printer, such as being out of ink, other functions of the unit will not be able to be performed until that issue is addressed. The Canon community webpage is replete with similar complaints. One consumer recently complained, one ink empty can't scan. The gray ink has run out. There is no place locally that has any. I ordered it online, it's not here. I need to scan something that will not be printed. When I try, the printer will not recognize the computer. If I try directly on the printer, it shuts itself off. I tried holding stop, that did nothing. How can you scan something when the ink is out? Wasn't there a lawsuit about this very thing? Help, is there any way to circumvent this? I spent a long time trying to get this answer from Canon directly, it was insane. 
Canon replied, saying there is no workaround for this. The printer must contain all ink in order to use the functions of the printer. Replacing the empty ink tank will resolve the issue. Canon's competitors do not all engage in this deceptive practice of designing and selling multifunction printers that by default require ink to use the scanner and fax features. Not all multifunction printers are designed packages and sold to consumers so that lower no ink causes a loss in other functionality. If plaintiff knew this, they would not have bought the thing or they would have paid less. Therefore, it's false or misleading advertising. Now they're saying that this practice is motivated by increased ink sales. Ink does not improve scanning or faxing performance. There is no legitimate purpose for this. Tying the scanner fax capabilities to the ink is something that disadvantages and financially harms consumers, but benefits Canon. Canon derives substantial profit from ink cartridges. They retail for $40 to $50. The cost of ink cartridges is a substantial portion of the cost of the printer housing the ink cartridges. The industry figured out long ago that once people buy a printer, they are committed to it so you can sell the printer at low or below cost, knowing that they will have to buy the cartridges. Consumer Reports confirms this. Inkjet printers are being sold at a low cost with the expectation that companies would make their profit through the sales of the ink cartridges needed for the functioning of the machines. Most printers are sold at a loss. Manufacturer makes money by not selling consumers an inkjet printer, but by selling the supplies needed to print. Apparently this includes laser printers as well. Now, I have had a positive experience. Someone here on the channel recommended that I get an OKI printer, a, la a color laser printer from them. And it was a relatively inexpensive color laser printer, but it's lasted me years. I bought one set of very expensive print cartridges, and I think the print cartridges cost more than the printer, but uh, I have been very satisfied. I can just turn the thing on and print. There's no ink to dry up. There's no... Uh, jets ink jets to clog uh, and and i recently was gone for 14 months i came back and i had to print my taxes it's tax once you went we had a tax extension so to get my taxes in and i'm international so now i have to print my taxes and mail them manually uh the printer started right up and printed instantly there was no maintenance that needed to be done on the printer so i highly recommend like black and white or color laser printers instead if you can afford the upfront cost of them. This is the classic razor and blade business model. Give away the razor or the handle for free or low cost, and people will have to buy blades, and so you can charge out the wazoo for the blades. Same thing there. I use a double-edged safety razor. You can see that I cut myself sometimes, but uh, it's a double-edged safety razor, and the blades cost 10 cents a piece and last me about a week a piece. Your mileage may vary, but still much cheaper than the three or four bucks per blade that you can find with some of the like Gillette, you know, Quadro or whatever uh, razors. There is no reason or technical basis for manufacturing these printers with an ink level detection function that causes the scanner to stop working when the ink is low or empty. I think we've beat this horse to death, so let's see what's going on here. Class action allegations, that's great. We know more or less how a class action works, other people in the same situation get to join. So breach of an express warranty means they said the printer's going to work for a specific purpose or, or have a specific function, and it doesn't. Then New York general business law prohibits deceptive acts or practices. So they're saying that consumers are deceived by this practice. The other New York law, number 350, is false advertising. So they're saying that this is false advertising. Unjust enrichment would be that Canon benefits from these unlawful ink sales, requiring people to buy ink when they don't need to buy ink, and therefore they're making a profit, and it's not a just or fair profit. So they're asking for an order determining the action is a class action, an order declaring that Canon's conduct violates the statutes referenced, an order finding in favor of plaintiff on all counts, damages, statutory damages, interest, restitution, and all other relief. I'm assuming that uh, attorney's fees will be in there someplace. Not sure why they don't have attorney's fees listed in there. Usually the attorneys are known for getting a large cut of the class's recovery or award. Usually 33 or 40% is a, is a number that I've seen 
And yeah, that feels pretty high that if you win $10, you only get like six or seven. So I do understand why that feels kind of wrong. On the other hand, how many of these class members were going to bring a claim on their own anyway? So it's a balancing act. And if you don't want to be part of the class, once you get the notice, you can get out of the class by objecting and then you can go sue Canon on your own or make some kind of a claim. Good luck with that. Uh, I, I don't know how far you'll get. You'll need to hire your own attorney or know what you're doing. And that could be a difficult thing. So that's why the attorney gets paid so much money is because they're doing the work. We can argue in the comments how much they should get paid. But remember, you've got to get the attorney interested. The attorney's got uh, high fees and student loans and things themselves for doing all of this. And there's certainly the opportunity cost of not taking other cases that are paying similar amounts of money. So it's a difficult economic situation there. However, I'm glad to see that whatever the fee is going to be has motivated the attorney to file a class action lawsuit against Canon because I absolutely despise this practice of tying the printer ink functionality to other functions. Or even in my case, from tying the color ink cartridges to the black ink cartridges. I could hear maybe a technical explanation why the color and black have to be tied together. Somebody said it's because of the yellow dots that printers put to put make a signature on each page so that if it's if the letter is used for some nefarious or unlawful purpose, it can be traced back to a particular printer. I don't know how true that is. I know that there's something about counterfeiting in the US and color laser printers. I don't know about inkjet printers in that case, but whatever. Maybe they don't want the inkjets to dry up and so they want you to maintain ink in the printer and then the device will slowly go through the ink to keep the the channels the the, the little cavities uh fresh with ink i don't know how all that works but definitely you don't need the ink to be working in order for the scanner to be working so i think that's absolutely ridiculous and totally understandable why canon would do it to try and generate a profit but that should be unlawful so i'm looking forward to the settlement and seeing canon's up and come let me know what you think in the comments below ewan thinks it's better black quality to use colors to 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 accent the black okay and that's our show thank you for watching special thanks to our top supporters in october john Steele, gavin barnard evie spirit bear benjamin hytoff ugly grill torpedon shadow tycho earthbound star pure magma drew hart tech tech potato and eric tams you can support lawful masses on patreon.com slash lj french and sponsors.com slash law or through youtube memberships and through floatplane subscriptions Join me for our weekly live production stream on twitch.tv slash lawful masses on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Eastern U.S. time. I hope everyone has a great week. I love you all. Bye.